Plenty can go wrong when you're floating through interstellar space, billions of miles from Earth, running on a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, and coming up on 43 years since the last time anyone laid a spanner on you. Last week, Voyager 2 shut itself down into a safe mode after an unexplained delay in a calibration maneuver caused two high-powered systems to come on at the same time, overdrawing the power supply. What happened to Voyager 2? The spacecraft had run into trouble on January 28, when NASA revealed that it had unexpectedly, and for unknown reasons, shut down. The world held its breath. As Inverse reported at the time, Voyager 2 went black right before it was scheduled for a maneuver in which the spacecraft rotates 360 degrees in order to calibrate one of its instruments on board. But the spacecraft didn't make the move. As a result, two of its systems, both of which consume a lot of power, were running at the same time, according to a statement by NASA. The likeliest problem was that the spacecraft was using up too much of its available power supply, which triggered protection software. The software automatically turns off Voyager 2's science instruments when there is a power overload to save on power. It only has a finite supply, after all. As of writing, NASA hasn't confirmed or denied whether that is what actually happened. Only time will tell whether the agency ever gets an answer to what went wrong. But for now, we can all rest assured that Voyager 2's mission is far from over yet. If all goes well, it should have another five years of life left, meaning five more years of data collection from an area of space we humans have no other way of studying. On Wednesday, February 5, NASA's Voyager Twitter account gave out the good news. Voyager 2 is not only stable, but is back at its critical science mission. My twin is back to taking science data, and the team at NASA is evaluating the health of the instruments after their brief shutoff, the account tweeted. Voyager 2 is sister craft to Voyager 1. Both have been traveling through the solar system, and now beyond it, for the last four decades. Together, they have transformed our understanding of our stellar neighborhood and are already revealing unprecedented information about the interstellar space beyond the sun's sphere of influence. In a statement, NASA confirmed that Voyager 2 is back in business. Mission operators report that Voyager 2 continues to be stable and that communications between the Earth and the spacecraft are good. The spacecraft has resumed taking science data, and the science teams are now evaluating the health of the instruments, the agency said. The fix is no mean feat. It takes 17 hours one way to communicate with Voyager 2 from Earth, which is the second furthest away man-made object in space, Voyager 1 is the furthest away man-made object in space. That means a single information relay takes 34 hours. Such are the foibles of working with humanity's earliest interstellar machines, particularly given that the twin Voyager spacecraft left Earth back in 1977, and their incredible journey thus far, and the observations they have sent back to us from the outer reaches of the solar system, have been achieved using technology from before the age of the personal computer. These kinds of problems will eventually become more common. Their power supplies relies on the decay of densely packed radioactive plutonium oxide spheres, which at the time of launch were able to supply a constant 470 watts of power. That figure has been slowly dropping over time as the fuel has decayed. Its half-life of 87.7 years means Voyager 2 is losing about 4 watts a year right now. By mid-2019, power was down to about 280 watts and NASA decided to turn off one of the onboard heaters, which was designed to keep its cosmic ray subsystem instrument within its optimal operating conditions. Remarkably, that system has continued to operate despite dropping to temperatures well below what it was ever tested for, and despite the reduced power available, Voyager is still sending back data from five instruments, many years after anyone expected we'd still be in touch with it. The original Voyager team did an exceptional job on this machine, building in failsafes like this safe mode that have kept it in terrific condition. At some point, it'll no longer have enough power to heat up its own fuel lines, and it'll lose the ability to aim its antenna back at Earth to speak or listen. Then, off it'll soar into the vastness of interstellar space as a lonely record of our civilization. That'll do, Voyager 2, you've done us proud. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.